Alrighty, let's talk soft baiting on a kayak. My biggest piece of advice to anyone getting into soft bait fishing is... Uh, before I start, I'm by no means an expert, professional at soft baiting at all. I'm still learning every single time I go out, but you know, I seem to catch fish every now and then, so I figured I'd just uh, let you guys know how I do it, and I might be able to help some of you guys out. And vice versa, you guys might be able to help me out too. If there's uh, anything you think I should know, then leave us a comment. So firstly, we'll talk about the gear. So you want to use pretty light gear for soft baiting. This is a Shimano Stratic 4000. That's sort of near the top end of real size that you'd want to go. I probably wouldn't go more than a 5000, 6000. And the rod that it's on is a Shimano Energy Concept 4 to 8 kg. That's also probably on the heavier side of uh, the sort of rod size that you'd want to go. Uh, spooled with 16 pound braid. Very important that you use braid for soft baiting. And I use 20 pound leader. For the jig head, I use the Ocean Angler light bulb range. And I use Z Man and Gulp soft baits. Now, the uh, jig head weight will obviously depend on the depth that you're fishing and also how much current is about. Generally for me, anything under 10, 10 meters, I'll use quarter, quarter ounce or uh, three eighths. Uh, up to 20 meters, I'll use about a half ounce. And anything above that, 20, I don't often fish more than 30 meters. Usually 25 is sort of as deep as I go and then Sometimes you get away with a half ounce, but um, probably a bit better going with like a three quarter ounce once you get into that sort of depth. But um, the general rule of thumb is you want you want your soft bait to be able to get to the bottom using the least amount of weight possible, so it has the longest uh, time drifting through the water column. For drop rates, it's sort of about. I'd say about three quarters of a metre per second, roughly. That's something I struggled with at the beginning. I was like, man, how do I know if it's on the bottom? How do I know how long it's going to take to get there? Like, it can be quite hard to sort of keep in touch with the soft bait. So that's, yeah, about three quarters of a metre to a metre per second is uh, the drop rate. It's also probably worth mentioning that my braid and leader are joined using a um, FG knot. Uh, avoid using swivels. I don't actually know why, just avoid it. Yeah, definitely learn an FG or a PR knot and then also learn another uh, braid to lead a knot that you can tie easily on the water. It's not the easiest thing to tie a, um, an FG knot on the water. You can do it, but not the easiest. So generally you want to be casting ahead of your drift. So I'm drifting that way. So I'm going to cast straight out in front of me. And honestly I've found that so many different techniques work to hook fish. Um, some will work better on some days, others work better on other days. So yeah, you want to be casting ahead of your drift. I'm fishing in 10 metres at the moment, so I'll let it sink for about 10 seconds, something like that. And you want to keep a little bit of slack line as it drops down, but you want to be able to uh, strike as well if you get hit on the drop, so really keep an eye on the line as it's sinking through the water column. Any sudden changes in line angle, you're likely getting you're likely getting hits and it's a good time to strike so you really want to stay in touch with it and 
and then once you're fishing in the in the red zone, in the fish zone, just do slow little twitches, slow winds. Manawanui. Good morning, Manawanui. Oh, Jeez. Taking up that slack. Your technique will differ as well for uh, the different types of soft bait that you get. So this is a jerk shad. So it's in the name, give it little jerks uh, to entice the fish to bite. You get like uh, curly tails and paddler tails which give a really nice action in the water when you drag them. So those work really well just dragging them behind your kayak or giving slow drags through the water. My biggest piece of advice to anyone getting into soft bait fishing is you have to come out with only a soft bait, nothing else. I see people who say they want to learn how to soft bait, so they bring their soft bait set out, but then they also bring another set up for like bait or you know something like that. They'll try the soft bait for you know five, ten minutes or half an hour, even an hour. They won't get anything and then they'll just give up and they'll just resort to their, their old ways. But um yeah you really just gotta persevere. The more you do it the more you'll sort of learn. The more you do it the, um, the more comfortable you'll be with it and you'll you'll just get a better feel for it. Like I say I'm still learning and um, I try different things every day. For example, sometimes I'll do the complete opposite of what I just said, and instead of keeping in touch with the line as it sinks, I'll just cast out, leave the bail arm open, and just watch the line. And um, you know, quite often they'll hit it on the drop and you'll see the line just peel out. up like that like I caught a fish this morning already doing it like that you know so yes there are sort of um, tried and tested ways that work to catch fish but don't get tunnel vision you've got to try lots of different things change it up change the soft bait color up my favorite one is the uh, z-man bruised banana but I mean Hey, if you're not catching, change it up. You never know what the fish are going to want on the day, eh? So another technique that I used uh, a couple of weeks ago, which is completely against what people will say, is... Um, so I ended up drifting sort of the opposite way. Instead of drifting forwards, I was drifting backwards. So I was still casting out in front of me. That was technically uh, behind my drift, if that makes sense. And I was hooking up every single cast, getting absolutely smashed. Yet everyone, including what I just said, uh, will tell you to fish ahead of your drift and always cast ahead. But, you know, like I say, it's not a, a one size fits all. You've got to try different things. Wow, getting some big strikes back there. Hopefully one of them hooks, hey, I can show you that it actually works. See, if I could sum up soft baiting in, in a few sentences or a few tips. Perseverance. Perseverance is everything. You've got to just put in the time and the effort and you'll, you'll get better learn little things uh, using the correct weight jig head for the depth that you're fishing in change up your colors frequently and your types of soft bait it's never going to be uh, one size fits all change the technique that you use slow twitches drags
never come out thinking that what you did last time is going to work this time. Be prepared to change it up. You'll catch fish. And once you catch one, and once you once you catch one good one, you'll be hooked. Well, anyway, I think I've covered uh, most of the basics to uh, soft bait fishing. Like I say, I'm no expert, but just sharing my experience with you. If you think I've forgotten something, let me know. If there's something that I should be trying that I'm that I'm not, then yeah, hit me up. We're all here to learn, eh? Otherwise, thank you for watching, and uh, with any luck, I'll catch something soon and be able to show you guys that it works. Otherwise, we'll see you in the next video. Love you all. Thank you.